Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. All right, you know I'm on my LOL dolls kick. So this is Slay Baby Christmas. <laughs> it's so stinking cute. Um, I want to show you where I got the SVG from. It is from Tabs Chic Boutique. So here she is. Um, you get, you know, all the different um, file types. And um, here it is, just so that you can see it. I will definitely include it in the video details, so you can always go there, but it's Tabs Chic Boutique. So, all right, let's go back to over here. And I've been doing the dolls at 30 inches. So go to Height, change this to 30, and just hit Tab, and it will change the width accordingly. So let's scroll out to see what we have here. And this one should be pretty easy to do. I'm looking at her hair and you can see her hair. Each one of these um, gray pieces is a piece by itself. So what I definitely want to do just at looking at this file is I'm going to want to weld some of these pieces together. I'm not going to get rid of the full lines. Um, I like those details, but I don't think we need to have the hair in, you know, 20 pieces. And then uh, let's see if there's anything else. Everything else looks pretty good so alrighty let's zoom out one more time so there so at 30 inches let's ungroup it and see what we have okay um what happened to my file oh there it is <laughs> okay so this piece is just a little long, 11.522 by 3.11 all you need to do with this one is turn it over a little bit and now the dimensions is 10.1 by 7. And this is fine because we have all this other space to throw in all the other whites. So this will be perfect. It'll be seamless. And that's, to me, that's important because we don't want to, we want to make sure that nothing distracts from just the whole beauty of the whole thing, all glittery, 30 inches. We don't want a big seam coming down the face to distract it. Okay, so here's our face. Speaking of the face, it's 11 inches by 8 inches. So that's good. Um, and I love how everything's already ungrouped, right? The ear is one piece with that little, that little thing down the middle, but that'll be cute. Let's see. So I think this is going to be a fairly easy file. The only thing we need to worry about, um, really is the hair. So the boots, let's scroll in and look at the boots real quick. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that little piece. I don't think it's worth worrying about that piece, but look how cute this boot is. So this boot is one piece. I love that. I want to do the same for this. So let's um, contour for a second. Let's get rid of that little piece over here. And let's, if you click on where the percentage is, it will automatically bounce back to 100%. Okay, so let's select this. I don't want that. So now when you X out of it, that little piece is gone, right? So I love that. Let's bring in a circle. And just make it really small. And we're going to add it over here. So like that. And then grab this and weld. So now your boot is going to be two pieces. This uh, left boot is one piece, this right boot is one piece. Now if you like all those little holes, I'm going to show you what that looks like. Let's go to contour. They're small, so it might rip up your paper, it might not. You're going to have to definitely look at that when you go to cut. Like this one's tiny, but that's up to you. I mean, I do like all the little details. Um, okay, so here's the boot. Um, and it's pretty efficient. They're right next to each other. So I, we can just leave it as is. Let's go over here. Like I said, I think everything looks pretty good except for the hair. So I'm tempted and the eyebrows. See those little three pieces? It's going to be up to you. If it can cut and you can deal with that, I would leave it. Or I would... I might do without so let's see oh they're separated so that's fine okay we're good sorry <laughs> thinking out loud 
think everything here is good. So what I'm going to do is let's move, let's move everything down and out of the way. I think that will be easiest. So here's this one we know we need to work with because it's 30 inches long, right? But let's grab all of this and move it over just to move everything out of the way. Um, let's grab all of this because this will be be fine. It'll be, you'll be able to cut it on the Cricut because all the pieces are less than 11 and a half inches. Okay, so let's look at this hair. Um, let's grab some circles and I would just do a bunch of these. Let's see, let's put this maybe, you can unlock it to make it more flat and we can add it right here. So when we do that, instead of this little bun right here, instead of it being three pieces, it will now be one. But you're still gonna have the pretty little lines, but you see it's all connected here. So instead of keeping track of three pieces, it's now one, right? Um, I should have duplicated that circle a few times, so we don't need to do this. Let me do that here. Okay, so let's work on this hair a little bit more. So we wanna keep that one piece, that's fine. Let's see if we can group together this might be easier. Let's unlock this and make this kind of like flatter like that. And let's put it right here. Okay, so let's grab this and weld. So you see the hair still has all these pretty little lines and make it makes it wispy. But now we just made this whole section right here one piece. That's going to be so much easier to deal with. Um, so you're going to want to do that for a lot of these pieces. So let's unlock it. Let's see, how do we want to do this? I still want to make it look pretty though. Let's arrange and send to the front. Um, so let's turn this over. I don't want to do that. This is too big. Hold on, sorry. Sometimes when I'm, you know, being a little too lazy, when you go to weld it, it doesn't look that good. So let's do something like this for these three pieces right here. Okay, so we'll grab this here and weld. And so now the, these three pieces are welded together. So you see, you want to do that. So we probably just took, I don't know, like 25, 30 pieces and may probably make this into five pieces. That'll make it much, much easier to deal with. Um, so let's see. Because this all right here is one, two, three. You want to weld that. You probably want to weld this. I mean, this right here is so close to each other. I would do that. So let's duplicate it. And sometimes you'll find, um, I did this once, oops, undo. Ray from Star Wars, her sword was, I mean, I did this, but I still kept some pieces um, separated, separated, and it was such a pain in the end. Because it's hard to make sure it's balanced when the pieces are really small. Before you tape it down, you're really trying to make it work. It's a, it's a lot of work. So let's weld this together. So see, that piece is good. So you'll want to do that with that. Now, I'm going to let, we're, let's deal with this big figure. Let me zoom out so we don't have to zoom up and down. Okay. So now that you know how to do everything here, 
I'm going to leave that. We're going to pretend that we did that exercise for each color and make sure. Let me just look at everything. Nothing else needs to be welded. Everything else is pretty good. Okay, so we got this piece right here. It's 13.3 by 30. So we know we're going to need two, um, two columns because each sheet is 12 by 12. So at 13.3, we're going to need two columns and three rows across because at 30 inches you're going to need three rows um, but other than that this looks pretty easy so let's bring in our square and we're basically making six squares totally flushed we're cutting up this big black background into six puzzle pieces that will be easy to handle we'll tape it all back up and then put all her colored pieces on top and she's going to look pretty much seamless because all our colored pieces will cover all the seams in the black. We'll only leave behind maybe a total of one inch of seams total. And you're not going to notice the black because you're going to use, you know, white glitter cardstock for the fur trimmings, red glitter cardstock for the red dress. Her eyes are going to be, you know, bright blue, the silver um, card, glitter cardstock. Everything's going to be super shimmery. And it's gonna be so like such a wow piece at 30 inches. No one's gonna notice the one inch and seams that you have um, separated within the black, okay? So this black piece, this cardstock that we're gonna do, the six puzzle pieces, um, I always do it at 11 inches. So you wanna go up to size and do 11 and tab and I'll make the other side 11 inches. Just put it anywhere close to here. We're gonna to go to our position feature and this tells you the X and Y coordinate. So the X coordinate is running across, the Y coordinates are running down. And so I just round to the nearest whole number. 4.2 becomes four, 23.9 becomes 24. So what we're saying is for this one square, go over four units, go down 24 units, and here's the beginning of our square. We're gonna duplicate this square, put it over here, Put it just close enough so you don't have to do any math. You can just go over here and round to the nearest whole number. 15.1 becomes 15. 24.1 becomes 24. You can do the math behind it. This one is starts at 4. 4 plus the 11 inches of our paper is 15. And this one's at 15. Okay. Now we're going to grab both squares. You can either grab it here. Just This one's already selected. Hit the shift key and select with your mouse the second square. So both of these are highlighted. We're going to duplicate because they're already flushed. We don't want to have to do the exercise of making them flush again. We just want to make this set flushed with the top set. So if you put it close enough, you can just round. So 3.7 becomes 4, 35 becomes 35. <laughs> duplicate again. And this is our last set. And you're going to put it down here. And this becomes 4 and 46. So now you have six squares that are flushed. And that's good because you don't want any gaps, right? Then they won't fit together. You're going to have gaps and you're going to be able to see through the piece. You don't want any overlays because that will make you short somewhere else. So you just want six perfectly flush squares. You're going to go to your right hand side panel, scroll down till you get to the black background and then go to arrange and send to the front. Now we want to just put it where it makes sense. And what I mean by that is you're not going to want something like this. Let me show you this. This is bad because when I slice this, do you see this little piece of ear? It's this small, but it's going to be sliced off and you're going to need to keep track of that. You don't want that. You want to make sure that wherever you put her, that you're going to have six sizable pieces. You don't want any small pieces that you need to keep track of. And this looks pretty good here because everything is cut up into six big pieces, no dangling pieces. Now we're going to slice. When you're slicing, you can only slice two things at one time. It's going to be one square at a time with the image, okay? So watch my cursor. This is grabbing just the two items, right? And I'm going to slice. When you grab more than two items, then your slice option won't be available. So I'm going to do that here. I'm going to grab this square, and I'm going to go down just a little bit to grab that, that second square. Right now, my cursor grabbed three images, the black image and the two squares. And watch, slicing is not available, OK? So when slicing is not available other than a system glitch, it is definitely 99% of the time user error. <laughs>
<laughs> Just saying. All right, so let's continue to slice around this girl. And I'm just making my way through. Go this way, slice, this way, and slice. Now, I like to move my doll over and kind of keep her in the same order because that will help me later when I'm arranging everything, like taking it off the, the Cricut mat after it's cut. Um, this just helps me like, okay, this piece is supposed to look this way. Um, sometimes I'll accidentally flip something over. It's just much easier. One less thing you have to worry about. So here she is, all six big pieces, right? Perfect. Everything here, the slice results, you can just delete. We don't need that. Okay, so now what I'll do is, I'm just gonna take you over to the Make It screen. Now I know we didn't weld everything, right? We didn't finish the hair, um, but I'll just show you what it what it looks like and what the different things that you can do over here. Um, what image is too big? I Oh, because it left it like this, it's too big. Oh, that's silly. Um, okay, all we need to do is turn this over. Okay, let me move my face out of the way. All right, so you know you can move these things to make it more efficient. And because most of these items or most of these projects, I always tell you to use glitter cardstock. I do end up trying to, um, I save a lot of my scraps because I end up using so much glitter cardstock and I know it's a little bit more expensive than regular cardstock. So I like doing it this way because when I'm saving it, the next time I go to use it, um, I have usable, um, leftovers you know that way like when i go to save this i have you know three inches by 12 like one big piece that's easy to to deal with i actually have more than that but you know all right there you go so that looks pretty good here's the gray it's okay but there's a piece over here right so let's click on this click on the three buttons and, or the three dots, and we can move the object. Let's move it to this one. Let's try to get everything onto one, and it fit. It was fine. Um, here is the dark gray. I might move this over like this, and maybe this like that, actually. So I'm using an eight by a little bit over six. Let's move this up. Eight by six. So if you wanted to save this scrap, you have a lot more usable space there. Okay, here's our black. Um, these all look fine. But I think this one, let's see if we can squeeze it into another one. We're gonna move the object. And for the black background, I almost always use 65 pound card, cardstock because um, you just, we're gonna put this, uh, we're gonna put a foam backing on it so it will be super stable. And this is just the background, barely any of it shows. So that's what I would do. Oh, look, I think we can save one more piece. Move this one to this one. Perfect. So our black cardstock, we only need three pages of it. Um, I feel like we maybe could fit that, but I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> Let's see, what is this? Uh, okay, here's our red. That looks pretty good. Here is our brown eyebrows, our skin. So I think we can make all of this fit. Now the easier way, instead of clicking each one, you could pretend that you have a 12 by 24 mat and change this to 12 by 24. I do like to use 12 by 24 cutting mats no matter what. So, but what I do instead of moving each one is if you only had 12 by 24 mat, but you only had 12 by 12 cardstock, then just make sure where the 12 inches, don't put anything there. 
But in this case, I think everything can fit if we utilize the empty space, right? So if you do it this way and you make everything fit, which now everything fits, you can just use a 12 by 24, I mean 12 by 12 mat with 12 by 12 paper and the system won't know any better, even though we said 12 by 24. Okay, so we made it fit all into one. Here's our blue. If you're using scrap paper, this might be easier, more compact. Like this. Right, so this is um, three and a half by four inches instead. All right, here's the lips. That's it. All right. Um, I hope that was helpful. The the off the mat is super fun to do. It really does make your like birthday decor really pop and stand out, and they take great pictures. Um, so it's totally worth the time to learn it. And you can see that wasn't that bad, right? All right, so let me know if you have any comments or questions or if you have any special requests. See you next time.